In the past, we have seen different countries host the Africa Cup of Nations and this has greatly impacted their economies. Many of them tend to invest millions of dollars, especially in facilities and infrastructure, but the return on investment is never guaranteed. And quite often after the tournaments, the facilities are often unutilized while the state is locked in paying debts. For the AFCON tournament, Cameroon was able to build state-of-the-art facilities such as stadiums and renovate the already existing ones to meet international standards for the 2021 Africa Cup of Nations. Lawrence Nkede, a journalist in Cameroon, believes with international facilities, the quality of players in the local leagues can only get better. It's going to lift Cameroon football to a greater level. We are not talking of the national team, but we are talking especially of the local championship, uh, you know, on continental, on the continental scene. Uh, we have difficulties for our clubs to really progress. It's just because uh, the quality of training, the quality of pitches was really below average. And I think this time around with the infrastructure, it's just natural that the quality of the game increases. And even the, the local championship will have a better market value. According to Nkede, in the past, the league was played on poor pitches and this affected the development of talent. Nkede believes the local infrastructure will be put to good use by the local clubs. It's not just the national team. We would not expect to host the national team every day play in order to fill in the stadium. So I think the stakeholders will have to think on a better way of, uh, of, of transforming these stadiums into really business centers that can generate money for its maintenance. The 2021 Africa Cup of Nations is broadcast in over 150 countries globally, something Cameroon has capitalized on. They are now using the tournament to promote their country, culture to a global audience. But it has also played a unifying factor in a country that has over 300 ethnic groups, known to mention improving business for both the first and third class societies. It's going to really impact on uh, the sense of national uh, unity, the coming together, bringing together uh, the people under one banner, that of uh, Cameroon. And equally economically, I mean, we're already feeling it on the pitches because uh, those, uh, the hotels and uh, the restaurants are being filled up, so I mean we have a direct impact on the on the on the local economy. A football discussion in Cameroon is incomplete without the name Samuel Eto. Nkede revealed that Cameroonians believe that they have a Jesus in Samuel Eto, as the man who will take Cameroon football back to the top. The two-time African champion was voted as the FA president in Cameroon weeks to the start of the competition, and his victory was welcomed by everyone. It was really a campaign strategy that was built for really a long time now and finally he he's there and now we are waiting to see him in action because there have been so many problems at the level of uh, the Cameroon Football uh, Federation and there is really much 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 to do uh, we have the natural talents but to harness all this uh, in order to make a strong football nation Gabon hosted the 2017 Africa Cup of Nations and most of the facilities that were used for the tournament are rotting away because they are poorly maintained and not being used. South Africa hosted the 2010 FIFA World Cup and most of the facilities that were used for the tournament are not being used at the moment and they are rotting away. Qatar will be hosting the 2022 FIFA World Cup and they have already said that some of the facilities will be given away while others will be dismantled. Cameroon believe they will be able to put good use to the six international facilities they have, especially with Samuel Eto on the wheel. Clive Chaze is my name, reporting for CTV in Yaoundé, Cameroon.